for triangle paper 1, MPP2 paper 1, questions 2, is a function questions. So it's given in the diagram that the functions uh, that maps from P to R, so P to R is given as MN equals to 10 minus 3x squared. And given that the Q to R, from Q to R, the function will be 3x plus 1, but we don't know about the notation whether it's m or n or another alphabet, we don't know. But we know that the function is actually 3x plus 1. So we just leave it there. So for question A, write the function which maps set q to r. So they want us to find function q to r by using the function notations. So we enlarge diagrams, we focus on diagram. So P to R is actually another road, alternative road from P to Q and Q to R. So P to R is actually a composite function, MN. So in the MN functions, which function comes first? N function or M functions? Give you guys a second. It's actually N function comes first. Yeah, right? So P to Q will be your N functions. P to Q will be your N function, NX, but we don't know about the functions, and Q to R will be our MX. So the questions for the question, uh, for the, the answer for the questions A will be MX equals to 3X plus 1. Just I don't think they give three marks for this kind of questions. So only one mark will be given. Okay, so just ignore the marks beside. So for the question B1, they want to find the function with mat maps P to Q. So from P to Q is actually function N. So it's given that MN, function composite function MN, and we have function M. We need to find function n now. So, the first step. Function m composite with nx is actually 3nx plus 1 because function m is actually 3x plus 1. So when we input the nx inside, the x will change into nx. And this thing is actually equal to 10 minus 3x squared. And we rearrange, nx will be equal to uh, 3nx will be equal to 9 minus 3x squared. And nx will be equal to 3 minus x squared. So that's your answer for questions B1 and x equals to 3 minus x squared and you gain one mark for a step and one mark for a finance for the question b2 they want to find the value of k if nk equals to 6k minus 37 so value of k nk equals to 6k minus 37 so they given as they given us n k equals to 6k minus 37. So we just sub n inside to our function n, what we obtain in question b. So for question b2, n k should be equals to 3 minus k squared, which is equals to 6k minus 37. And we rearrange we obtain the quadratic equation which is k squared minus a uh, plus 6k minus 34 equals to 0. So with this, we press calculator. Oh sorry, it's actually negative 40 here. 
So negative 37 minus 3 should be negative 40 here. So you obtain your value of k minus 4 and k plus 10 as your factor, linear factor for your quadratic equations. And your answer should be k equals to 4 or k equals to negative 10. So both answer accepted. So you get one mark when you equate the equations. You get another mark when you got a linear factor for the quadratic equations. And you get the final mark for getting two correct answers. That's all for questions two. And then we'll continue with question three later. Thank you.